Hey guys, JDSB here. This is going to be an updated video on how to import HDR recorded footage from Shadowplay, Action, or a HDMI capture card and edit it and export it within HDR in Resolve 17.4. First things first, import your content. Now, it depends on where you recorded it, how you do this first step. If you use Shadowplay, which uses a variable frame rate, you want to go into Resolve and change your frame rate before you import any footage to your like target frame rate. Because you cannot change the frame rate of the footage within your pro project within Resolve after you've put any footage in timeline. You have to do this beforehand. If you're using a HDMI capture card or Action Plus, which records in a fixed frame rate, you don't have to do this. Anyway, set your frame rate for this example, it's going to be 60 FPS. And the timeline resolution is, it also dictates your export resolution, but it also is important to set before, like whilst you're editing, because the compressed footage you're going to be working with is going to be really hard to real-time edit and so changing the resolution of the footage down from 4k to 720p uh, i find it's very helpful and the second thing in the settings is the color management tab in previous versions of resolve you had a bunch of options here and it was kind of confusing what did what and what you needed to select in the first place within 17.4 they have changed that first of all change the color science from yrgb to yrgb color managed the second option is change the processing mode from SDR to HDR. And the third option is the output color space from SDR to HDR PQ. And that's it. No more 75 different options to choose from, just those three. Press save, import your footage. We're gonna go with Shadow of the Tomb Raider today. In the deliver tab, you have a wide range of options that I can't go through. I've only got an NVIDIA graphics card and I don't have a CPU with an integrated GPU. And therefore I can only tell you how the NVIDIA GPU encoder works. I don't know how this works for AMD encoders or Intel encoders, but I know how it works for NVIDIA. So the format, set it to MP4. The codec, set it to H.265, and the encoder, set it to NVIDIA. Now the resolution is what we've set in the timeline. You may think that you can change this to 4K here, and then it will export in 4K. I haven't, that hasn't been the case for me. And so you need to go back to the settings before you export, change the master settings timeline resolution from 720p to whatever you want to export your footage in. For me, it's 4K select 4k press save this will reset codec h265 encoder nvidia uh, resolution is 4k the frame rate you cannot change and the most important option here to change is the encoding profile previously i had mentioned that you just put the bitrate up to over 100k and blah 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 it's not that for youtube to pick up the video as hdr it's just the encoding profile from main to main 10. i like to increase the bitrate that resolve works at because i find the nvidia encoder is not the greatest quality when it comes to fine elements on uh, the video. So I put this from 80K, or from best to 100K. Um, you can enable the two options underneath the AQ strength. These enable uh, flags for the NVIDIA encoder. It should result in a higher quality video. However, these two options are mainly for really, really low bitrate content. And we're doing 100K bitrate, so it's not gonna make much of a difference at all. Um, add to render queue, export it, and you'll be greeted by this video here. The format profile, which is an important thing for YouTube to actually pick up as a HDR video, is main 10, um, L6.1. Um, my bitrate is 100K, because I changed it myself. The frame rate's a constant mode at 60 FPS, because I've set it myself beforehand, and I didn't use in Shadowplay to record it. Um, the only downside with using Resolve that I found with an NVIDIA encoder is that you cannot change the bitrate over 192 kilobits per second. And that sounds pretty terrible with whatever, with whatever like default options they're using. It turns out this is because Resolve is using Windows's built-in audio converter, and it's like from 2004 or something, disgustingly old. So it's really bad. Uh, you can't change it, and maybe you could like merge two files together after the fact, but I don't know how to do that. Anyway, that's how you do HDR exporting in Resolve 17.4. Hopefully it's been useful for people. Thanks for watching.